Yo, what's up, guys? Axelite Fox and G here, and we are back in our video, and welcome back to another episode of Delta Rune. Now we are on pr possibly the final episode. I don't know, and also you may have noticed that my webcam looks a little different, but that's because I was messing around with OBS the other day, trying to work on like um um a cover of the song. <laughs> I know me doing that again. Haha, <laughs> cringy. Blah blah blah. But yeah. I just mess some things up, hit default, and this happened. So, well, I tried to get it fixed as best as we could. So it's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be a bit weird. I'm just gonna put it like that. So let's wait. I don't know if I go up. Do I go up? What way do I go? Fine, I'll go this way first. Cause I have it saved. So, ride the elevator. We'll see. Oh. Oh, never mind. Oh, that just takes us. Okay. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Oh, my mouse is on the screen. Great. Well, let's go. I don't know if, what we're getting into, but we'll see. Enough wor Enough worms. Rule card. Thou may have cheat, cheateth through my puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepareth for battle with. Oh, whatever this is. Okay, I can't. I can't do his voice again. Huh? Oh, I need to make him sound like Shakespeare. That's what I should do. That's the enemy from earlier, but his crown looks different. Well, oh, I couldn't see it. Yes, with my control crown, I must control any disc-shaped platform. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain. It looks like the okay. Well, yes, the control crown is painful, but I'm certain this creature will feel it through the earth. When sees how much more pain thou will be in. Here it comes again. Well. Let's see what Susie's idea is. Susie, you want to act? Oh, what's your idea? Um, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You want to apologize to it for early, right? No, oh, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get that crayon off its head. Let me, let me throw Ralsei at it. Oh, this is not gonna work. Crown loosen a little. Yeah, I should have done it a bit higher then. Oof. Okay. Crown is 20% loose. Okay, so let's try this again. There we go. That should do it a bit better. Crown greatly loosened. Nice! See, I told you guys I could do it. Oof. I wonder what, what fighting rule card would be like, though. Oh, this is the beacon drop. Crown greatly loosened. Okay, that's good again. Ooh, I did not know that could happen. Okay, okay. The crown is 90% loose. Okay, okay. All we need to do is just do it one more time. Let's make sure we get a good angle. Yay! Crown loose. Oh. Yeah. Okay, phew. That's good. You won. Yay, $5. Why, brilliant. <laughs> just brilliant. I knew you could do it, thou great hero, thou. Thou see it, that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. Thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thine path. I, personally, could not be less of an obstruction. But you, luck be with you, heroes. <laughs> um, okay. Does he just not want to fight us or something? I mean, I'm cool with that. Uh, throwing him. Okay, I'm getting a lot of Asgore vibes from this. Riches, they shine with avarice. Could probably pronounce it wrong. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. 
Probably giving some hints to the lore, but okay. Riches, they shine with avarice, okay. Yep. Wall bearers, they seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Or we gonna see what happened. It's Lancer! <laughs> hey, there's Lancer! Ooh, it's the king. Father! Wait. Father! Crap, I, I forgot how to do the voice. How do, how do I, how do I do the voice? Father! Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the lightners as I commanded? N no, but, but. I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? Um... Ah. Hey. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Y yes father? Do you remember what I told you? D don't get, get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. For yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter, unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? D don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... he'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What? What the? You traitor! Come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the heck do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? I'm the bad guy. King blocked the way. I guess the best we can do is check right now and then just defend and defend. Banded by lightners, his heart became cracked with hatred. He can't be reasoned with, but don't give up. How dare you come here, lightners? Okay, we got this. Darkness pours from the fountain. You tried to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer! Your very existence goes against your own. By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. You that left us in the shadows, stripped of meaning. Oh. It's like... Jump rope. Jeez. Courage. Defense boost. And then I can use a bit of magic to heal one of us. Let's heal Chris. Encourage the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Nice. You dare return to torment us once again! Crap. Okay, it's not that bad. King's mouths babble indecipherably. I might have to have someone else talk with him, though. Phew. 
Cursor okay. Cast heal prayer. Be gone! We have found fresh purpose! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, I am so sorry, Susie. The battlefield is rumbling. Okay, okay, okay. That's okay, that's out of that, so we can only Who should I talk? Who should I have talk? Probably Susie. Susie tried to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer is my friend. So if we get if we can get by without hurting you then. If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you wanna see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. For the night. For the night has appeared. Oh yeah, I forgot that's this kind of attack. Crap! Crap! That- I hate that attack, like, with all my heart. <laughs> we need to heal Susie, though, so... Okay, I know I can do. I'll just do... I'll talk, and then you can just have an item. I mean, if this is the final battle, then... I feel like I might want to save the... Wait, what happened to the Lancer cookie? Dang crap, did I eat that already? Dang it. Well, I'll have to worry about that later on. 30 HP. Let's try the Heart Donut, then. Let's try the Reason of the King. You might not realize it, but... This is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes! A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. I, what? Else? Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Valzai's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. Oh, that did a lot. Okay. The, the knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Okay, I can't do the voice for so long. Because it, it hurts, like, really bad. Okay, that one was a little bit easier. Red damage. Spare. And then we we defend. Wait. Wait. Ooh, I have a better idea. Defend. Spare. And then defend. Susie spared King, but its name wasn't yellow. Holy fountains, whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay, at least he healed a bit. And, of course, that doesn't work. I mean, I kind of have to do this, and then, or wait, no, uh, defend, and then, and then use, um, what is it, revive man, use, oh, that's good, ha ha ha, do you see our, now our new purpose, okay, 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 at least our thing is at max now, that's kind of good. Dual heal. King's Moth gave a berserk smile. Sp I want to see what happens if I spare. Actually, I'll just keep defending for now. Your soul shined its power on Ralse. Ralse cast dual heal. Whoa, it's powerful. Soon this w soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Okay. This one's just a bullet hell, which it's it's hard. Okay, there we go. Phew. Okay. Wait. If 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 Ralse defends, does that mean he's the one who takes damage? Maybe. It's confusing, but I want to see what happens if I try and attack with Red Buster and then defend. Soul shined his power on Susie. Susie used Red Buster. Okay, that was a bit much. Then you may see what it is like to live in despair. 
Okay, I keep forgetting that's not an actual attack, but okay. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, phew. Battlefield is rumbling. Okay, well, yeah, obviously. Defense boost. Okay, I need a defense boost. And then you can defend. So I get more points. Yeah, so I get more points from that. Then you cast... Wait, oh... I don't have enough. So I have to... I have to defend. Defend. And then I can use the heal. Now enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. No, I do not want to. Okay, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What is this? Okay. King's Mouth gave a Berserk Smile. Okay, well, yeah. Spare, okay. Um, I won't do that yet. I'll just do Defense Boost again. Because he keeps talking. If he keeps talking the same or different lines, that's good. That's good. Because that shows that the plot is progressing. Oh, that's cool. Ah, so we, she can also use that attack just herself. Ah. Or wait, no, no, that's it. Okay, that's a different thing. Courage. So, courage. And then defend for a few more points. And then... Use magic on yourself. You encourage the party. Nice. Okay. Heal prayer. Okay, that's a lot. Ha! Huh, you're quite strong, aren't you? Okay. 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 Okay, we need to spend this turn defending. Just everyone defend. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Crap. Okay, this one I'm bad at. It's like... It's like that one startup thing. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. We're out of good amount of health, too, Seth. We got this. Okay, heals everyone. That could be useful. Right now, that's useful. And defend. That works. That works. It seems that. <laughs> I forget that's... I always forget that's not an attack. <laughs> In itself, but whatever. Darkness pours from the film. Do I have to keep using Red Buster or... Can I just have everyone defend again? Actually, I might want to have someone do something. I'll have you use courage and then defend, defend. Courage the party. Okay. My knights, I shall not fail you. Who's the knight, though? Okay. I have a. Okay, I was gonna say I have a good system, but. Okay, something's happening. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I've grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightner's eye. Perhaps I, I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. Purpose in peace. Blah. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, I'll just put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. Come now, Susie. Something. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. I'm not fully trusting him, but none of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries, I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. I yes, fr friends. That sounds lovely. <coughs> My apologies, I am. I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Yeah, you're, you're a bit on the... Um, Chubby sad, just saying. Oh, don't say another word.
There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. I knew it! Never better. You! Did I say you could get up? Chris? Oh, spare me the heroics. Oh no. You, you're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. I'm mute, you idiot. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people, beat me off. <laughs> hey, get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me. Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightener. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. Lancer, everyone, what is the meaning of all this? Sorry, Dad, you're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me? Now I'm the dad. <laughs> you, you idiots! The Lightners are your enemies! Fools, I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes, I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad. No! <laughs> you alright, Chris? We actually get to see your face now, that's nice. Chris, Susie. Oh, you're alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you're right, I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? <laughs> it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just... Hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie. You're being to sound like a real hero. <laughs> Don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. Let's go, Susie. Hey, Chris. Wait a second. Um, I... Look, I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but, you know, we could go back a sec if you wanted. Sure. Well, the more we wait for, let's head back. Okay. <laughs> just, just immediately go back. Chris, Susie, you came back. Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, actually... Everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Hey, it's the person. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I can buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Seems legit. Best, you're the best. Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing. Be great, be work. Oh jeez. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sh Shom to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Even the little ball can say something like, thank you. Darn, well, see, you've done us a big help. Now all of us 
pieces can live in peace. You did it! You oust you ousted that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept the bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. Wonderful work, my amigos. Thou hast toppled this to the tyrant, freed his dark creeds. Truly, th her st history shall not forget the tale of Rule Card and three heroes. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I disliked my job. Future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke, which is honey, I think. Never thought about it that way. <laughs> now I never want to think of it that way. <coughs> a kingdom with so much hope. Hope you don't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B-Day, too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Okie dokie. Athy looked at you proudly. Kiss. I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? I slept through everything. <laughs> you idiot. What? Whoa. Well, what about us? Are we going to be restored as kings? Oh, my treasure is unarmed. Carry on, then. Whoa. Well, what about... Oh. How are you, Lancer? Seriously! Blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home, Elways. You were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, really? Ho ho ho! That's funny! I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. <laughs> I mean, I didn't not want to. Um, so you're the king now, huh? Yes, I'm changing some big rules. First, lightners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was, uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess it up? I have no idea. Well, it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll just see, I guess. Um, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure who make weren't sure who make our new king. I mean Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Aw. Mamma Miba, what a celebration! This calls for a cake. And this time I'll make it out of metal so an animals can't eat it. I'll say animals decide it's okay if the king you kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. Hey, that's a good pun. Oh. Well, didn't shrink small enough to respect me enough to actually, um, get out of my way, but, eh, uh, that's fine. So that's everyone. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Heck if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just walk to the right if we are. Chris, Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I... I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a second? I can barely hear you, dude. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chris? Toby, you clever little man! I... Anagram totally slipped by me. Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, okay? Alright? Um, yeah, sure, dude. Uh... Let's go, Chris. Because Vral say is an anagram for Azriel. <sighs> that totally slipped by me, and I had no idea. And the name even sounded familiar to me. I'm a big, dumb idiot who plays games that are way too intelligent for his level. I don't know. Whoa. It's like the barrier. I don't know. I've also been told this isn't the full game. So, I'm confused. Is this a fountain? Don't know how, but... It feels like we stumbled in 
to something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about it that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Uh oh. Wait. Boom. I don't know. I don't know what that does, but it did something, so. What what happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it. Huh? huh? The unused classroom? How do we get here? Hey, Chris. What what just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alfie's we can find any chalk. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. See so yelled poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. It's a worn down stuffed animal. It's a light switch. How ironic. The door is locked. Okay, well. Oh. <laughs> I'm facing the wrong direction, Rip. <laughs> Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alfie's will know better than ask us next time, huh? But there's the closet. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Door is locked. What can I do? Something's gonna happen. Can I go back now? Door is locked. Dang it. I thought I was gonna do something really sneaky. Oh, so we can see the whole classroom. Oh. Oh, is this Alfie's room? Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even your dark, darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. I can't, I don't know what that's from, honestly. Sorry. Computers turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. And then what happened? It said for a moment, are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones were giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. That sounds like a great time. Do you like breathing, moving fast with or without legs? But usually with legs. Join the cross country team for, with Jockington and no Noel. Jo oh. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Huh. Whoa, wait. Historiel is written in cursive on the Drays for Race for. Seems like it hasn't been erased for a very long time. And we just totally screw everything up and do this that exact thing. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? What is it saying? I don't know. It's probably like representing the mountain or something, or something from Undertale. Some kind of teacher food. A. It's a primitive drawing of your mom. <laughs> Kids' books. Kids' books. Some of them used to be yours. Shape of several basic shapes. Hyper dodic heck draw. Whoa, jeez. 
Ring, ring. C Chris! Whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I am afraid I am going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You were spending time with a friend. Chris, I will make an exception this time. We can continue our adventures a little longer. When you return home, you are going to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. So does that mean... What does that mean? Dang it, so I can't go back in there. So I'm out here. No, I just have to lie, Barbie. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. And I can finally pay off your family debts. I'll draw dragons is two two thousand five hundred and eighty three days overdue. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. You turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere sixty four dollars and twenty two cents. Consider it, Chris. No. Chris, what's up? Kay's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball seventy three times. Oh gosh. Gog go the cool egg. So tam stubby, hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. There's an anime review. Read it. No, no, no. Yes. Teens Corner monthly review. Two in review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie Two. This reviewer had Mew Mew Two as her first exposure to the series. Let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew One looks like a a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. The darker storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like a real adult. Instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one. It's more stale than the ramen I eat at home by myself through the lights off. Teens and old should check out this dark masterpiece. Sign, the anonymous yellow lizard. It's a different universe. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Oh, well I can't get past you, so... You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Gosh darn it, Toby, breaking fourth wall. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Freaking Gerson Boom. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. By Hot's Fire Guy, like Heat's Flames Man. That's funny. It's a unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal <laughs> instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. There's a book here. You look the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavor text. Okay. Hey, and, uh, hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait. It's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. Ugh. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? Dark world. What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That was a job for the school board. <laughs> How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just... I guess I should just run away. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic. All she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, Get out of my way. <laughs> she's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? Patients can't hear it well from here. I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano. Shrunk to fit in the size of the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Plink! It's one of those sliding bead puzzles that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. Beads march grimly along your set path. Wait, how much further do I go in? I can go in here? Ha ha ha! Dad, I, do, I can't just... I can't just say that to her. 
Oh my gosh, I die. I literally die. No well, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother. I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. <laughs> really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Oh well. Maybe... maybe you shouldn't wait. D Dad? You should bring it here! I'm bored as heck. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his butt. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. That's nice. Oh. Oh, hi, Chris. How are you, sir? Well, Jingle, my gosh, that bells. Looks like Christmas came early. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long, you were just a creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You want to try something? No. What the heck are you doing here for Chris the Gawk? You thought this was the zoo or something? Come on. Uh, I guess just saying hi. I don't Flowers. It's a bunch of roses in the glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but... Roses was this man. Beauty and the Beast? I know, I was thinking the exact same thing. That ain't gonna work. Man, we're both beasts. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. <laughs> pain. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain skill. Using icy. As zero pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. <laughs> This castle's white wizards re re relegated me to this healing chamber, and my blood is boiling for battle. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna leave, you know? Let's see, what's up here? Ice me up, ice me up, boss. I'm just gonna skip this. This is... Okay, well. The entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Well, that's counterproductive. QC's diner. What's everyone? You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special. Do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Rave reviews and autographs from various normal talents people. There's a lot to explore now. Hey there, haven't you seen you in a while, hon? I remember back on Sundays after service. You and your family would come in and order special. Of course, things happened and then you all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. You two would sit down at the table in the corner. Drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? On the house, hon. That's nice. This Ice Wolf. Ice Wolf does not like ice in his drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. To be drink. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Brilliant! I like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, no, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. I got nervous, I just melt all the ice. So for you two girls, that'll be the cre the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? <laughs> That's funny. Puns and all that. Sands! How are you? Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Who the heck are you? <laughs> Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. Name's Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Uh, 
friends. We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Not anyone I should know better. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Gave the store by her to buy chocolate kisses. So she's got a lock. Her door stopped you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Aw, oh, thanks, Sans. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't complain, huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Papyrus. Knock, knock, knock. No response. But the distant trousel little bones. Knock, knock, knock. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blo- Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Monster Kid! Yo, Chris! You survived Susie, huh? I mean, I never saw her beat up anyone, but, uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, me, so Snowy, and Jockey didn't were playing handball, she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid. Kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. And the Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us that handball. <laughs> anyway, Susie sucks, Chris, haha. <laughs> Not real. Huh. You're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alfie's. It's not fair. Ha ha ha. I skipped class. My dad never let me hear the end of it. Ha ha ha. That's actually not even remotely funny. Hey. Alfie's. Uh, oh, C Chris. Chris, you're okay. I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where'd you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. What are you doing out here? Saucer of milk. Uh, uh, oh, Chris. Did you want to talk about something? Chalk. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, um... My, my homemade DVD collection of The Symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the milk glass monster family got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest and most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past this season since they just rebooted it since, since they all started driving their own motor vehicles and playing giant giga demons and stuff. The main problem about it is that they kind of lost the focus on family when they had early when their vehicles were shaped like animals and they were friends with the animal vehicles too. And let's not get into Simpsons Galaxy Force where the Simpsons is the governor of Earth on the other side of the went the gravitational field just You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Oh, Chris, do you want to talk about something? Okay, flowers. Oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. And actually, they... He always gives me flowers. It really makes me wonder if he... If he likes... If, if, if he likes... The awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and kicking my butt. Oh, Chris, the, okay, um, saucer. Oh, this saucer made it of milk? No. Not milk. It, it's for my kitty, Yumi. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? Uh, well, I've never actually seen her, but, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So, so I like to think that there's a cat. Uh, my cat. There's a sign up there that looked like one of the amalgamates up there also. Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gone better at knocking. Hmm, maybe I got a knock on every door. <sighs> There's a lot to explore. And <laughs> knock down door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. He just closed the blinds. <laughs> Please tape is blocking the way. This the tape see simply reads, "Nah." <laughs> oh, Chris, what well, pleasant surprise to see you here on a school day. 
There's a reason I came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you, if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. The choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. <laughs> Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. We can participate in any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Must be some pretty good fruit juice. What is this? Oh no, is this gonna be tears? What, what, a hammer? Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Crystal, a, st a snowy gemstone for a proud mom mother. Mutler, big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Oh my gosh, this is so sad, actually. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, I saw my The studies came from dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks. You're right. That was nice. A lot of this is nice, but That noise sounds way too familiar. I don't know if I wanna. Oh town hall. Hey short stuff, why would you what why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance is too low? Eat too much candies, lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor's busy right now. You need to see her. She's try causing some terrible crisis. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. She works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, rarely. Who's the, is, it, is the mayor Muffet? Or something? Because I can't think of any other major characters, but... Here, I'm gonna slow down my speed. Something... What is this? It's locked. What the heck? What? The return- oh! Also, I forgot to say at the top, it says the return. That is a little suspicious, but... Let's go up. Oh, there's still more. Little Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Ma, ma, ma. Haha, I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my gosh, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything, though. Your choice. Uh, sister. Oh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no. And she, like, <laughs> told me, my playing is an anti-blessing from playing in hell. Like, the heck? What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my freaked up little sister. Hey, neighbor. Baber. When's uh, your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> my girls love to see him. Just a sweet little man. He's got one problem. He isn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? Uh. It's bratty. Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Go away. Uh, memories. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course. Just get some burgers. Then, like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then I like suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Oof. <gasps> knock knock. Oh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. I'm afraid no one's home now, darling. Now why don't you prance on home? I thought that was... <gasps> My score. Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. What? It's a golden flower, protected in the container. 
It's a cyan flower, protected in a container. It's a blue flower, protected in a container. What is this hinting at? It's purple flower. And this is a, yep, it's a yellow flower. Orange. Green. It's green flower, protected by the container. Okay, why have you to explain about this? Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. It's a small TV. On top are some superhero comics. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Two photos. A photo of your mother and your father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. I don't know, are they divorced? It makes me sad. It's a door. It's locked. This makes me a bit sad, because I can tell that they're just... Just by... Because it looks like he lives here. It's a flower. Oh. oh, Chris, before you go... Here, for your mother, our secret. Out the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is lured with old papers and country CDs. Nice, what's this way? Hey, it's the Royal Guards. I'm the bird that hang out in my wake with hang out in the lake with my best bro. Watching the waves but go by. True. <laughs> it's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers. Oh, I thought it was in the fingers don't fit through the top anymore. Try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. Gosh darn it. Listen, I'm in the air with all these things. The sands are singing. <laughs> Sit down and watch a song. And listen to a song and the sands are singing. Yes, that makes perfect sense. So, ornate gate. It appears to be locked. Oh, hi Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so, um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Uh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris, oh, I'll help you later, if so that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris? Do you want to talk about something? Susie. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I got... I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think? Um, Chris, can I ask you something? Can I ask something? That's okay. Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So Chris, could you tell me about her? That's okay. Terrible eats chalk. She's nice. What? She's a nice person. Really? Like, like, really? Honestly, truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't our trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and to th told me it was blood. Really? You're serious? You're totally serious. Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her. But, but if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die, too. It's your mom's fan. Well... Welcome home, honey. You got fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. Go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, alright? I love this song. It's the TV. It doesn't seem to be even to be plugged in anymore. Well, we're approaching the one hour mark. Well, we are at the one hour mark, but yeah. It's fine. It's our scotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. I'm curious about something. Door's locked. Dang it. And this is a cactus. I was just being dumb. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. They go to bed. Sure. Decide to go to bed. Wait, this chapter?
What are you doing under there, Chris? Whoa. Nightmare? What? 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 Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? That scared me. Oh. Chapter one. And the places that you know seem like fantasy. There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth, the promise in all. continued in chapter two well that should be interesting oh <laughs> I mean <laughs> straight up the game poof. well I guess I can make this full screen then for a second um. oh <laughs> sorry I got just a little bit so sorry, I have a I have a really thick face right now in this, but eh, I guess I can adjust it a little better. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. It was nice. It was fun. Had a lot of the charm that I always love from Undertale, anyways. And I still got need to get back to playing it, so I finish it, finish the boss, all my other games that I need to get done, all those other promises. But yeah, that. Mm, well, yay, I'm done. I can actually watch spoilers now. Okay, thank goodness. Okay. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please spam that thumbs up with your thumbs up. Subscribe me for some more awesome daily content. Don't forget to share this video with friends, family, your local Snow Drake, and everyone, and your local Monster Kid also. And turn on notifications if you want to see more um, my awesome content. And I'll see you guys later. Bye! -o!